Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where Welcome back peeps We've got some good news We've had the opportunity to dive one of the world's top dive spots The Alderman Islands So at the drop of a hat we stopped, dropped and rolled out from the murky waters of Taranaki to the sweet, sweet crystal clear waters of the Alderman Islands Coromandel. Yeah boy, let's get out there. Today we're lucky enough to be going out with Doug and Jude, Luke and Dylan. Um, the two young boys have only just completed their open water tickets so it'll be cool to see their new skills. The boat we're going out in is a 7.3 metre scorpion named Shadow. So yeah, we're scooting out on that today. He's spent his younger days scuba diving his brains out around these islands. So he's got a very good knowledge of the area, all the nooks and crannies. So I'm really looking forward to following him around. Now check these islands out. This is crazy, man. So many dive locations. Just don't even know where to start. Uh, lucky we've got Heath here. Uh, he's got the knowledge. He'll show us where to go and we'll have a, a good day. A good day diving. Looking forward to it. This place is... So once we're all anchored up, we let the drone loose. Uh, we just want to send it up to have a quick little look around. It might see something that we don't. Um, and just to get a little bit of footage. Um, this place is amazing, eh? I just can't believe how beautiful it is. You guys enjoy. Since we've gotten here, the wind and swell has died right down. The sea's looking really good. We're packed up in 7 metres and we can see the bottom easy as. It's time to get the drone packed up and get our scuba gear on and get in. I can't wait to explore this underwater paradise. I want to drive away so I can be so far from me. I want to find a place where no one breaks their promises. And we're not disappointed. The water is super clean. To a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world fell small Heath doesn't muck around, he's straight to the bottom Time to stop fluffing around on the surface. I need to get down there. I need to get down there now. Now he's looking pretty happy isn't he? Back where he belongs, extreme viz. He's a happy big boy. It doesn't take long for the rats to find us. Uh, they're looking for a free feed. They're cool down there, he's a fun to hang out with. And we will, we'll give him a bit of a feed while we're down here. Amongst the school of two spotted demoiselle is a nice little baby snapper. Hey, these guys are real cool. I love the little blue dots on the side of them, how they illuminate. I could follow these guys for ages.
here's another baby snapper that I've found in the side to follow. Um, you'll notice that he looks back every now and then just to make sure that I'm not close enough that I'm a threat. It's not very often you get to see them in Taranaki so I'm just enjoying it following them around and taking them in. So this is what a kinna looks like once it's lost all its spines and fully decomposed. They're really quite cool shells so I just have a quick look and then pop it back down. Heath decides to feed the local fish so he starts smashing up some kinna. And you can see the wrasse are going crazy. Snapper are there, two spotted demisel and even some sweep. Uh, the reason we smash up the kinna uh, other than feeding the fish is that there's some areas that are overburdened by canna that everywhere they've taken over so we just smash a couple just to keep the numbers down You'll notice that he's carrying around a stainless steel cray noose with him. These are proven to cause less trauma to crayfish than hand gathering. A very handy piece of kit for getting crays out of those tough to reach areas without harming them. Here's a little bit of hand feeding. These fish are super friendly and super hungry. So they're always as your best little buddies and they're not scared of you at all. It's really quite cool. Live a life every day, let it die, not okay. And in no time at all, these rats have cleaned out a kinna and they're looking for more. Looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life, have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive. Having that better days. I could walk, see here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want. He's starting to get a little bit tired of feeding the fish, so he starts looking for a few crays. Uh, gets the old torch out and starts looking around the boulders and uh, hopefully you'll come across something soon. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sunday. Now check this fizz out. This is something that I am not used to. We're talking 20 to 25 meters plus and all the extra light just makes everything look so much more vibrant and beautiful. This is amazing. When it's said and done, cause there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. So he spots a pack horse cray. Um, it's in a little boulder which he can slip back easily, so he uses his noose. And here he is right now, he slips the noose behind the cray, opens it up. Over the towel it goes, closes it and then pulls it out. Piece of cake. So the word on the reef is 
for a pack horse cray to be legal to take, the tail needs to be at least 216 mils long, male or female. It can't be in soft shell and it can't be in berry. I've got the measure on me today, so me and Heath will give it a quick measure up before it gets taken up to the surface. It won't be long now and it'll be time to start thinking about resurfacing. Uh, so I take the opportunity just to give another little bit of a hand feeding of the locals. Uh, I really like them being by me and being able to touch them. You don't understand the pain of brain. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. I'm just going to slow the footage down here for a couple of seconds so you can see what the start of a Kinnabaran area looks like. So when an area is called Kinnabaran, it basically means that all marine life has been depleted except for Kinna. There's only Kinna there and that is not a good thing. Wow, we've had our fun now and it's time to start thinking about making our ascent. Um, normally when we make our ascent we like to use the anchor chain. It's just a lot easier to keep your depth when you're doing your decompression stops. But you said, I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing The decompression stops are a lot more enjoyable here with the viz, it's not so boring. You can watch all the marine life from above. I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions. I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. It's not long until we're making our way back into the boat. Uh, get all our gear sorted and then um, shooting back Back to Pawanui for the night. Free diving tomorrow, so really looking forward to that. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats in a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. The weather's kept up its end of the bargain. It looks like we're going to have another stunning day. I just can't wait to get out there and do a little bit of free diving. A quick little breakfast, get the boat ready, and then it's time to get out there. We've only got an hour or so for spear fishing today. Uh, we have to get back to Taranaki work tomorrow got to clean all our gear and whatnot so not the best but we'll make the best out of it he's in first he's on the hunt hopefully he can find something yummy under a rock or something tasty swimming around we'll have to wait and see hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead Everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test Collects a spear gun on the way past Loads it up and then he's off. Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like, and find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time, just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown. They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make you look like I'm losing Heath starts spotting a few crays uh, These ones are a little bit small So I'll just slow the video up so you can have a little bit of a look at them But check out that little fish, he's all lit up, he's real cool I'm 
make some progress I can see that they compare I think everyone's a He spots an old decomposed kinna shell Hey um, it's by a little opening so there's a high possibility that there could be a crayfish in there so Heath goes for a look we'll see what he finds you better pray that I don't see your face at any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time and yes siree there's a crayfish in there uh, I start the video once again uh, you can only just see its antennae so I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't He heads up top to unload his spear gun for safety reasons And then he drops it by where the cray is um, We've got the kinnish shell to show where the um, cray is anyway But it's just an old habit uh, We use it a lot in Taranaki or sometimes you might not find the cray again uh, so once that's all done he has a quick breathe up because he never knows what kind of fight he's going to have with this cray down there and uh, down he goes Heath gets a good hold on the cray around its horns um, and it's not long and he's got it out but the cray gives a good fight uh, so once he's got it out up to the surface he goes uh, and then he'll pop it in his float boat once he gets over to it Yeah, so that's all of Heath's free diving spear fishing um, footage. Uh, so I'm next. Let's see what I got up to. Once I'm in the water, I load up my spear gun. I'm going to be doing a little bit of snooping today. Uh, yesterday, with the scuba diving and smashing up all the kinners, I got enough kinner spines in my fingers, so I'm over that. So I'm just going to do snooping today. No burly. So I spend quite a lot of time exploring the coastline. Um, there's a lot of fish around, but not the fish that I'm looking for. Um, so I've got this little section here, which has got a little bit of action in it. So this is one of my attempts here. I'm cruising along the top of a ledge um, through the weed, nice and slowly, and then just looking down in the gutters, hopefully spotting something. So this is my lucky day. There's quite a large blue moki parked up, minding its own business. I line it up, pull the trigger, and hit it. It's a good shot. I'm stoked. This is real cool. Once I can see that the flop is fully engaged, I start to pull it up. Nice and easy. Um, it's not too hard. Um, one hand after another, and up it comes. And turn your mind into the truest to go getters. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top of it. You know I'm always honest. There ain't no way I'm ever. Once I get it up, um, I give it a quick icky and then a little bit of a bleed. Uh, this blue mochi is my personal best. I'm super stoked with this. Then I just spend the next couple of minutes trying to get the spear out, which took a little while. Uh, once I get that out, I just cruise over to the Kaiwaka and get the blue moke into that. Reload my spear gun uh, for the trip back to the boat, just in case I spot something. Yeah. 
yeah so that's the spear fishing over for the morning uh, back to Pawanui now get our gear clean and then we'll be out we have got to get gone to Taranaki work tomorrow so yeah heats of gear to clean and whatnot so uh, yeah we're out of here we'd just like to say once again thanks Doug and Jude Luke and Dylan for looking after us and showing us around, we really appreciate it. So that's our first trip to the Alderman Islands over. Um, we'll do it again, uh, it was awesome, so it won't be long and we'll be back up. Peace out guys.